Good morning. It's Wednesday, March 23rd. I'm Joel Kier here with Tim Murphy. Welcome back to the Gold Spot. Uh, Tim, we're no strangers to change in this market. Uh, we've been seeing retail investors uh, flocking to precious metals over the last couple of years. Uh, now we're even starting to see hints into the corporate world. Uh, you've got some forward-thinking CEOs, uh, Peter Thiel of uh, Palantir Technologies. Uh, end of last year, they bought $51 million of physical gold. Uh, just last week, we had uh, Adam Aron of uh, AMC. Uh, they took a 25% stake in Highcroft uh, Mining, gold and silver mines. Um, can you give us some insight on kind of what we're seeing in the corporate world as far as change to the market? Well, yeah, Joe, it's uh, you know, not just the corporate world, but the, the international world, the central banks. It's, it's no secret that the central banks have been buying physical gold for years, but now they're at record levels. In the last 50 years, they've never owned so much gold as they do right now. And, and you know, we know China has been buying uh, gold for, for many, many years, and, and uh, India and, and Russia, you know, jumped on board years ago. And as, as a matter of fact, Russia has more gold reserves than they do dollar reserves right now, which is, which is for the first time that's ever happened. So it's a, it's a real sign that the demand is there at that, at that big level. And now you've got the smaller uh, central banks jumping in, uh, Thailand and Turkey and, and Poland and Hungary. And when, they, when Hungary was asked, the central bank of Hungary was asked why they're buying so much gold, they said they just look around the world and, and they're, uh, they're worried and they're balancing their, the, uh, their portfolio. It's just you know, simple as that. So it, it's, it, it's all happening. And you know, when these central banks, when they go in and buy, they buy you know, hundreds of tons, thousands of tons at a time. It's, you know, they're not buying coins for their for grandkids at uh, you know, holiday season. They're, you know, they're, they're depleting the, the, the supply of the market. And we're also seeing this in, in um, silver. We uh, are, our company's having some, you know, a little bit of trouble getting certain kinds of silver because it's just not there. In, in the, at the wholesale level, and we've been hearing for months and months and months at the wholesale level that that uh, supplies are depleted with silver, and also at the refinery level too. So, even though silver is at a pretty low price, at, you know, twenty five dollars an ounce, the physical demand is very strong. The premiums are starting to move back up again, and that's a sign of tightness. So we're gonna. This is all gonna happen, and when gold gets over twenty one hundred or twenty three hundred or twenty five hundred, some magical number, the fear and greed is going to kick in, everyone's going to want gold, everyone's going to want silver, but there's a chance it might not be available to be had. So, you know, there's, there's besides reasons of, of supply and demand, also higher prices, these are all great reasons to be looking at things right now and, you know, taking a, a serious stand. Uh, with so much demand and supplies being impacted, uh, the old saying, uh, you don't, you buy gold and wait, you don't wait to buy gold, it has never been truer. Um, reach out to us, go to our website, request some information. We're here to help you uh, answer any questions you have. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next week.